First card out is the tower. Implosion, explosion. I asked, what is the root of this tower? What is the root of what it is that Pisces was trying to build that doesn't have a firm foundation? What is the root of it? And it is the two of cups, okay? So the root of this bad situation, this tower moment in your life is some kind of relationship or partnership, okay? It blows up, okay? Judgment. This is a decision, okay? This is major arcana as is the tower, right? Spirit is telling you something is either about to implode on you, is imploding on you, or recently has imploded on you, okay? You, with judgment, can change this. So judgment is a conscious cognitive decision the universe is saying needs to be made. In what? In regards to the Queen of Pentacles, in regards to your well-being, okay? Your materialistic satisfaction, bills paid, money in the bank kind of satisfaction, to the Two of Pentacles. What's the decision? Well, it's in regards to your well-being. Two of Pentacles says you need to prioritize right now. What? Getting out of the freaking shadows and seeing things clearly. Seeing things for what they are. The Three of Wands. Having some foresight. Foresight for what? What's happening? Well, the Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse is a third party situation. Is this saying there's a third party situation going on? Maybe, maybe there's a third party situation in some kind of unified relationship that is the tower moment, okay? Perhaps there is something here that you're going to find out um, that is going about a third party situation that is going to bring in a tower moment in your life. Third party situation, this can be love and romance, it can be business, it can be family, it can be roommates, it can be getting a third dog, okay? But there is a third party situation that is um, the root of the implosion of some one-on-one -on -one relationship with a person or an entity, okay? Hey Pisces, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. It has been forever, Pisces. I apologize. It has been forever. But I'm here to throw down a huge reading for Pisces. Huge reading. I don't know what it's going to be about, but it's going to be good. And it's going to be big. And I wonder what it is. Because I too am Pisces. I am a Taurus sun, but I'm Pisces moon, Pisces rising. And Pisces Venus. So I got a lot of fishy floating around. A lot of fishy floating around. And uh, I am very interested in what this has to say. Anywho, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what's happening. Pisces, I'm here to do your reading, okay? It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle, I'll pray, I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it as I clarify it, and I'll sew together a story, okay? If the clarification process gets too long or in-depth, I will fast-forward that part of the video. So come on in, Pisces. Pull up a chair, snuggle up, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke, put your feet up, put your earbuds in, and let's throw down some cards, okay? Let's throw down some cards. All right. Spirit, source, <laughs> universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me. Spirit and Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces? And what does Pisces need to know about themselves? What's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good? Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is these cards are going to say. Tell me where the stopping point is. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top, Spirit. Where? Okay. 
boy, they wanted to flip a long time ago, but I have to get myself Zen, right? So, all right, Zen, let's do this. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Five of cups on the bottom of the deck. All right, first card out is the tower. Some kind of implosion or explosion. Judgment. Decision. Wow. Three of cups in reverse. Third party situation. The sun in reverse. Perhaps not seeing something clearly. To the nine of cups in reverse. Dissatisfaction. Unhappiness. Two of cups in reverse. An imbalanced relationship. A breakup. Prince of cups in reverse. Some kind of hurt feelings unrealistic to invest feelings, the queen of wands in reverse in the center of the reading, an egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic person, or possibly your needs not being met, being a fire energy. This could be about career, money, maybe. The chariot rolling forward, pushing forward, going away or towards. Two of swords in reverse, not seeing something, not enough information. Queen of cups, some feelings. The Prince of Wands in reverse, frustrations, delays. The Six of Cups in reverse, <sighs> unrealistic, stuck in the past, reunite, reconcile. The Emperor in reverse, inflexible. Three of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of teamwork and collaboration. The Hierophant, commitments, contracts. Six of Pentacles in reverse, not what you think. The Four of Cups, reconsider. The Ten of Swords in reverse, inevitable ending the devil to the princess of swords in reverse and the three of wands have some foresight the ace of cups to the three of swords in reverse the hermit in reverse the four of wands in reverse to the king of wands and the five of wands in reverse to the ten of cups the wheel in reverse the king of swords wow wow Wow. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. That's where we're going to stop. Okay. Wow, Pisces. Wow, Pisces. I got to say, wow. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's clarify this. Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. I cannot uh, ignore that. All right. Um, few things you need to know, right? I can be irreverent. I swear. Um, I will smoke my vape. Most likely don't want to hear no shit about it. Um, pull up a chair and enjoy yourself. Okay. This is a general reading. The only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read. It is the only way. Okay. You can watch YouTube till you're blue in the face, but you're not going to get what you're looking for. Okay. Get your cards read. If it's something that is super important, get your cards read. Okay. All right. Pisces. All right. Okay. So the Queen of Pentacles is representing. Remember, I'm, so, I'm going to confuse you. I'm going to sew together a story, okay? So the tower, there is an implosion, an explosion of some sort in your life. It's the first card out. It sets the tone for this whole reading. This whole reading is about a tower moment, okay? The tower is about either an implosion or an explosion of something that you're trying to build where the foundation is not worthy, okay? So foundation, not worthy, implosion, explosion, okay? It's followed by judgment. It's a conscious cognitive decision. It's something that is extremely important for you to comprehend and execute in your life. The Queen of Pentacles. What is this about? It is about your security. It is about your groundedness, your security, your material satisfaction. It's about your money, your home, possibly your children. Okay? All right, Pisces. All right. Remember, on the bottom of the deck, Five of Cups. Loss, regret, despair, disappointment. Okay? First card out is the tower. Implosion, explosion. I asked, what is the root of this tower? What is the root of what it is that Pisces was trying to build that doesn't have a firm foundation? What is the root of it? And it is the two of cups. Okay. So the root of this bad situation, this tower moment in your life is some kind of relationship or partnership. Okay. 
it blows up. Okay. Judgment. This is a decision. Okay. This is major arcana as is the tower, right? Spirit is telling you something is either about to implode on you, is imploding on you, or recently has imploded on you. Okay. You with judgment can change this. Okay. You can divert this tower by stop, by, 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 okay, that'll come later. Okay. So judgment is a conscious cognitive decision. The universe is saying needs to be made in what? In regards to the queen of pentacles, in regards to your well being. Okay. Your materialistic satisfaction, bills paid, money in the bank kind of satisfaction to the two of pentacles. What's the decision? Well, it's in regards to your well-being. Two of pentacles says you need to prioritize right now. What? Getting out of the freaking shadows and seeing things clearly. Seeing things for what they are. The three of wands. Having some foresight. Foresight for what? What's happening? Well, the three of cups in reverse. Three of cups in reverse is a third party situation. Is this saying there's a third party situation going on? Maybe. Maybe there's a third party situation in some kind of unified relationship that is the tower moment. Okay. Perhaps there is something here that you're going to find out um, that is going about a third party situation that is going to bring in a tower moment in your life. Third party situation. This can be love and romance. It can be business. It can be family. It can be roommates. It can be getting a third dog. Okay. But there is a third party situation that is um, the root of the implosion of some one on one relationship with a person or an entity. Okay. Okay. Third party situation. Spirit says, make a decision. It's about your well being. Um, make a decision, prioritize it. Stop having your head in the clouds and focus on the future. The sun in reverse. Perhaps you're not seeing things clearly, right? The page of pentacles. You're trying to manifest some kind of prosperity somehow, some way. The king of wands. This is the pursuit of achievement and success. This is trying to manifest some kind of financial gain or stability. Okay. To the knight of wands in reverse. There's, there will be frustrations and delays. To the four of cups in reverse. If you reject the foresight and the information that's being given to you. Okay. Cards are dramatic. Take it, take it, however, right? It's a general reading. The Nine of Cups in reverse. So what it is that you are either refusing to see, not seeing, um, you're trying to manifest some kind of success, right? But you're not seeing clearly with the Sun in reverse that there is a third party situation. Maybe you're trying to bring a third party situation into a business relationship, into a love relationship, into maybe this is a child. Maybe this is a stepchild. Maybe this is a step family situation. I don't know, but there is some kind of third party situation that you're trying to be a part of, right? And what you don't see is that it's going to blow up in your face if it hasn't already. And it's time to start making decisions with the judgment card about how to circumvent this whole situation. Nine of cups in reverse. Um, a lack of happiness. Two of wands in reverse. Um, not meant for the future. Um, um, can't see the future. Um, you can't see the future. You're not seeing the future. You're not seeing the future. The queen of swords in reverse. Maybe you're in denial or maybe what you're not seeing is someone is being dishonest with you. King of cups talks about your feelings, um, possibly their feelings. Maybe they are coming across as a king of cups kind of person, right? Really likable, really, um, really, um, 
kind or courteous, but maybe perhaps really they are a queen of swords in reverse, right? Dishonest and, and maybe even crazy, honestly, okay? King of Cups to the Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse to the Moon in reverse. Dealing with repressed emotions, releasing fears. To Strength in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. So not being courageous, feeling weak, being insecure to the Two of Swords because there is not enough information. There's a crossroads. Look at that. Three of Cups. All right. This is you not being sure that you really want to engage in this whole operation right here. Okay. But to break this Two of Cups. So this tower, I think, is your execution of a breakup thing in regards to some kind of coming together or union with two or more people. Okay. This also, this tower is the implosion or explosion that you will experience if you engage in this. Okay. The moon in reverse it says it's time to deal with some repressed emotions and release some fears so you can handle this business. Maybe you're afraid to back out. Maybe you're afraid to say no. The Prince of Cups in reverse, but it's unrealistic to continue to invest your feelings in it. The Queen of Wands in reverse, your needs will not be met, period. Whatever it is that you are trying to do or is being offered to you and you feel like it could be successful, you could, you feel like you could manifest something, there is something going on behind the scenes, third party, whatever that is, that you don't know about, um, that you don't know about. Perhaps um, with the Queen of Swords in reverse uh, and maybe this person has like a hidden side that is a total asshole or something. But nevertheless, your needs are not going to be met. The King of Pentacles in the upright, this is you being successful. It's you with materialistic satisfaction. It's you with a bank account. It's you running a business. It's you running your life. It's you being successful. To the Four of Wands, peace, harmony, stability in your relationships and in your house. Six of Cups, home, family, nostalgia, your four walls where you belong. To the Ace of Wands, inspired, passionate, new beginning. This is saying that your inspired, passionate, new beginning needs to be kept to yourself. Okay? What this is telling me, now that I have more information, is that perhaps you got something cooking and you want to join forces with someone else. Okay? That's what I see here. This someone else that you want to join forces with, somehow, some way, is, is perpetrating warm fuzzies. Okay? But really underneath the warm fuzzies is the Queen of Swords, which is kind of a ruthless asshole kind of energy. Okay? Dishonest, somehow, some way. Two of Cups in reverse, right? That's an imbalanced relationship. It is a breakup of whatever. The moon in reverse says you gotta you gotta you gotta suck it up and get it together because your needs aren't gonna be met in this situation. Where will your needs be met? In your own success, in your own harmony, in your own peace, the six of cups, within your own familiarity, where you're at now is where this success is going to be found, not with the third party situation where you are now. If you are thinking about entering into a third party situation in your marriage or love romance or something like that, these cards are telling you straight up that your needs won't be met in that situation and that you need to focus on the four walls that you're in um, because your happiness and success and your passion and inspiration is really found there. Okay. The chariot. Roll out. Go away from this. Leave this behind. Leave this behind. Two of swords in reverse. 
because you don't know the whole truth. You don't see the whole of everything. For your happiness, your success, your vitality with the sun, death in reverse says it is time to do two things, to resist this change, the third party situation, and have a personal transformation about what's going on here. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Renewal, regeneration? No, we really can't we really can't put that here because there is no renewal regeneration. What it is is an inevitable ending because it's followed by the four of swords in reverse because of a lack of progress. This situation will implode in a tower moment in your life because there will be a lack of progress. It will come to an inevitable ending. The magician in reverse, an inability to manifest. Why? Because it is not the direction that you are supposed to be going. It's major arcana. It's not the direction that you're supposed to be going. There is an inability to manifest. Your needs won't be met. It's going to blow up in your face. Your success is what you're doing and where you're at right now, whatever that means for you, okay? The magician in reverse is also about releasing your own potential, staying on your own and not getting into an alliance with a third entity. To the fool, there is a new beginning and a new journey ahead of you. The queen of cups, be honest and fair with yourself and your emotions to the ace of cups about what is truly going to make you happy, really truly going to make you happy. Prince of Wands in reverse. Because this situation is going to bring frustrations and delays. Six of Cups in reverse. And you're because you guys can't come to terms about something. You can't reconcile some kind of difference between you. To the Emperor in reverse. This is someone who is inflexible, overbearing, domineering. Somebody who always needs to be in charge because they're so out of control on the inside that they are lacking control. That the only thing that they can control is the outside. Okay, this is the, what's saying is why it's an imbalanced relationship. It's why it's the root of the tower. It's why there's this third party kind of thing going on. Maybe the person you want to partner with has a partner. Something, you guys. It's general, okay? So it's you're not going to be able to come to terms. Three of Pentacles in reverse. There's going to be, there's you can't have teamwork and collaboration in this situation because somebody's a control freak. Okay, page of swords to the page of wands. Begin to think in a different way. Explore and discover ten of pentacles. I think this is this right here, right? Where you're at now is where your success is going to be found. Whatever the hell that means for you, I don't know. But wherever you're at now is where your success is going to be found. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Lack of teamwork, no collaboration. Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment. Three of Cups, celebration, rejoicing. This Three of Cups is representative of this Six of Cups energy, right? Where you're at now, where you're already familiar, okay? These people are familiar with each other. To the Star card, that is where the purpose is right? That's where purpose is. Where you're at now is where purpose is. Where you want to go is not purposeful. The Hierophant, again, reiterating the commitment that you have now, the place that you are now, everything that's good and right and proper for you now. Hold on. To the Ace of Pentacles is where you are going to manifest your prosperity. The Page of Cups, create, keep creating, emotional satisfaction, emotionally creating. Um, perhaps that's why you have your feelings invested here as the Queen of Cups a couple of times. Perhaps this is a home business. Perhaps you're going to go on Shark Tank and get uh, and get um, um, a partnership kind of thing, but you got to give up something, right? If that's the case, these cards are saying no bueno for you. No bueno for you. Anyway, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, One-sided, the lack of giving and receiving and sharing, a lack of prosperity. Four of Cups, think about it. Ten of Swords in reverse. Um, three of Four of Cups, I want to point out, is also about you. 
um, thinking you have all the information. The fourth cup is giving you information that you're missing. Four is stable. Once you get this missing information, you're going to have stability in your emotional processes. And that's what spirit's trying to do in this reading is give you the missing link. Okay. Ten of Swords in reverse is going to come to an inevitable ending, uh, Pisces. Why? The Taurus reading is very much like this. So if this is if you're digging this, go watch Taurus. It's going to come to an inevitable ending, Pisces. Why the devil? Because someone is dishonest. It's lying, cheating, stealing, egomaniac, emperor in reverse energy. This person is all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. Queen of Cups, they think they can play you, okay? For real, they think they can play you. To the Five of Swords, this is a win-at-all-cost um, defeat mentality. They think they can defeat you. They think you're vulnerable and naive, and they think that they can defeat you. But what they don't understand is the Queen of Cups might come off as being soft and squishy, but she has paid her dues and the Queen of Cups is emotionally mature. She's honest and fair with herself and her emotions and she is not wearing rose-colored glasses. She's in touch with her intuition. She's in touch with her emotions and she, she is controlled and balanced. That's what they don't see. Mm-hmm. Eight of Cups in reverse. Walk away. Walk away. Three of Wands. Have some foresight. Ace of Cups about your emotional fulfillment. This is not going to meet your needs. Three of Swords in reverse. Accept and understand. The Hermit in reverse. Withdraw. The Four of Wands in reverse. Instability. The King of Wands. Your success. The pursuit of achievement and success. Five of Wands in reverse. You need to change. Direction. Five of Wands in reverse is being open to change. Avoiding conflict, open to change. Ten of Cups, this change is going to lead you towards the happiness, the peace, the fulfillment that you're looking for. The wheel in reverse, this is not. It's a blockage. King of Swords, conscious, cognitive, responsible decision about your life and your future. Clear, concise, slicing and dicing of logic and reasoning in the whole situation. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is an inability to work something out. What can't you work out? Maybe a contract? Maybe a lease? Maybe a, a, an agreement of some sort? But y'all aren't on the same page and somebody is inflexible. Maybe you should be inflexible. To the Six of Wands, victory, progress, success. To the Five of Pentacles, leave it out in the cold or you will find yourself out. Leave it out in the cold or you will find yourself out in the cold. Wow, Pisces. That was your reading. Holy schmoly. Whew, it's very much like the Taurus reading, and um, I don't know why, I don't know how, but um, somehow, some way, they intertwine. Somehow, some way. Anywho, there you go, Pisces. Um, if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the channel because I'm not here a lot. And if you want to see me again, um, you want to ring the dinghy bell to get notified because I'm not here a lot, okay? Hope that helps somebody. Namaste.